I think geography has become incredibly important because it gives us an idea of everything that's happening uh, at the planet. So the way that geographers think about the world is about interactions between things. And uh, as the planet changes through things like climate change, um, as cities grow, as we face more and more challenges as we have during a, a global pandemic, understanding relationships between people and the planet um, has never been more important. And I think geographers are some of the most uh, skilled people at, at doing that kind of work. Well, geography is lots of things to lots of people. Um, and so there's things like physical geography where people are most interested in glaciers and rivers and mountains and, and changing climate, for example. Then you've got the human geographers, some of whom are interested in small case studies or qualitative data. And then we have another group, which I fall part of, which are more interested in the quantitative data. So the stuff that you can measure and record through sensors and computers and, and things like that. So, what, you know, one of the great myths is that geography is just all about where things are and maps just show yeah, rivers, roads, mountains. But of course, you know, those challenges have been largely solved. We don't need to, you know, create a big complex map that shows where things are um, from an academic perspective, because of course we have things like Google Maps and uh, Apple Maps that just exist on our phone and they provide uh, both the map, but also data services uh, to people. What's really interesting and you know, what geographers focus on today is, is how the, the place and space is a, an important feature of you know, our everyday lives and how the planets uh, function. And so what I'm interested in as a geographer is how you can take data that's maybe recorded on a mobile phone about a person's uh, location or a group of people's movements or from a satellite that's looking at the evolving city. And how can you relate those two things um, and understand um, how we can better improve the function of an urban area, for example. How can we make interventions uh, to help improve people's lives? And so that's, you know, that's what geography is all about now. We're no longer thinking about describing the world. We're interested in how we analyze it. So I think for, for people who are interested in geography, I mean, it's such a broad discipline um, that actually you can become a very broad person. I consider myself to be quite broad. I, I'm interested in lots of different topics. Or you can become quite specific. You know, you can become very focused on uh, climate modeling, or you can become very focused on particular social uh, issues. But the key thing is to keep an interest in the world and to try and ask yourself, you know, why is it like this? How does this, you know, how is this city working? How are these people relating to one another? You know, what factors may be at play here? And it's that questioning view of the world that actually motivates so many of the geographical problems. And then I would say that, you know, increasingly data is very important. So if you're interested in data analysis, maybe even picking up a, a programming language or something like that, that is, again, is very increasingly uh, important if we're going to then capture uh, the range of uh, data that's available to answer geographical problems.